The scenic Pacific Ocean leads to the Slope Stabilization Project at Gorda, California. Malcolm Drilling Company used three pieces of equipment simultaneously. A soil mech 312, a link belt 218 with a WJ sales crane attachment, and a Watson 3100 are drilling shafts approximately 95 feet in depth. Casing is carefully lifted prior to being placed into the hole. The casing will keep the surrounding ground from collapsing, allowing the machine to drill out the rest of the hole. During the drilling, large boulders were encountered, complicating the job. Due to the remoteness of this area along the scenic California coastline, all equipment and concrete had to be trucked three hours from the nearest large city. Welders were brought in to weld the double I-beams needed for the soldier piles. This whole area needed to have dirt trucked in to be compacted. Then, casing and soldier piles were set and concrete poured. The road was very narrow and heavily traveled, making the job even more difficult. Malcolm Drilling worked three machines simultaneously to fill a need on schedule and under budget. The second part of the slope stabilization involves excavating down approximately 70 feet and drilling tiebacks. As the job progresses, you can see the retaining wall take shape. The first level has 70 tiebacks, up to 170 feet in length. Each succeeding level down, the tiebacks will be approximately 15 feet less in length. Three Clem 806s are used to drill the anchor tiebacks up to 170 feet long. They utilize a down-in-the-hole hammer to drill through the rock. Sections two meters in length have to be placed successively. Technicians insert each new piece. At Gorda, water was encountered seeping down through the hill where the tiebacks were being drilled. This created a bed of mud the men had to work in. The tendon is inserted down into the hole. The tendon consists of eight six-tenths of an inch diameter high-strength steel strands. Each tieback is tested and locked off at the design load. The result being a beautiful wall. The excavation of the underground train station for the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority in Atlanta, Georgia, is the largest soil nail job in the world. A total of 12,000 soil nail holes are being drilled in a 900 by 900 square foot area. The excavation will dig down a total of 65 feet with 11 rows of soil nails. Malcolm Drilling Company specially designed a continuous flight drill rig called the Zambo. Mr. Z, as it is affectionately called, is drilling holes 8 inches in diameter from 55 to 16 feet in length. Mr. Z drills the rock, pounding it like a piston. While drilling, air is blown back out of the hole. The drill rig is designed to drill up to 50 feet with one stroke. Mr. Z has the capability to reach up to 18 feet to drill a hole. The rig's back end allows trucks to drive under it, making Mr. Z ideal for work in confined spaces like this excavation site. 
Malcolm Drilling Company also uses a Clem 806 to drill the soil nail holes. Like Mr. Z, the rig utilizes a down-in-the-hole hammer to drill through the rock. Technicians place the soil nails into the drilled holes. The threaded steel bars have centralizers every seven feet to keep the nail in the center of the hole. A steel mesh is applied to the wall around all the soil nails. Concrete is pumped into the hole by the technicians. After the holes are grouted and the steel mesh placed, technicians shotcrete the wall. Concrete is sprayed onto the wall with an air compressor. While the concrete is still wet, a faceplate is applied to the soil nails, completing the process.